Hi guys, this is Lisa, and I'm here today to show you a project that we made at um, the May May Made It Cruise that we had, hashtag cruising with May May. And this was called Mermaid Shakes, and it is a shaker that not only is a card, but it would hold a gift card on the back. It'll hold a, a standard smaller card and one that comes on the big backer, and we can even put a tag back there. So here's what this one looks like here. It's got some Velcro on it to hold it closed. It's got the shaky shaky. And the thing that makes this so special is we use no foam tape on it. So let's get started. This is what came in the kit. I'll go through that really quickly and then we'll put the project together. If you did not get to go on the cruise, or if you just want another kit, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna tell you how you might could win the last kit that I have, which is this one I'm showing you here. In the kit, you either got the front or the back to Let's Be Mermaid six by six paper pack. So, so cute. Had lots of mermaids, lots of different uh, sea creatures on it. Really had a fun time with this. So there's the paper that we used. It also came with some dies that were already cut out. Has our shaker bits here. And it has a teeny tiny, if you can see that right there, a Velcro dot, that's self-adhesive. It came with the tag. It came with a piece of acetate, of course, very important when making a shaker. It has uh, the frame and the frame um, pattern paper that mats it. And then we get to the guts of it. We have our base page that was scored. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we had the pocket piece and the flat piece that was on the back. Okay, and then my information. So, again, stay tuned to the very end of this and I'll tell you how you might could win this whole kit. So let's put one together. I've got all my measurements on here that maybe this could help you make one. So we're going to start with the frame. So this is a four by six frame. It's four inches by six inches with a half of an inch all the way around, which makes the inside be a three by five. Yes, three by five is on the inside. And there's lots of different ways you can cut this out. You can use the frame punch, you can set it up on your Cricut, you can um, actually use your Tim Holtz ruler, come in a half of an inch, and then take uh, your cutter and just cut it down all the way around. Or you could draw the inside out and cut it with um, your actual 12 by 12 trimmer. So these are already cut out for our folks. So you'll have that in your kit. You have a piece of acetate that's three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then you'll have this frame piece that's three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And it's a quarter of an inch frame all the way around. So we're going to glue those pieces together. So I've glued the frame on the top and the acetate to the back. The only trick to this, I would just say is to make sure if you're going to use wet glue like your art glitter glue put a, a bead all the way around the opening you don't want your goodies to fall out so you want to make sure you have a um, a constant stream or bead of glue all the way around that frame let's get there okay so now we've got our frame made with our acetate in the center put that to the side and now we will put together the base so the base is cut at seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. I scored at one half of an inch and five eighths of an inch on all four sides. So I put this in my scoreboard. I came over to a half, made a score mark, came over to five eighths, which is just one eighth from that, and did another score mark. So they're right next to each other. If you can see that. So you've got Two score marks all the way around the sides okay now before we move on we want to make sure we mat the inside of this so let's just go ahead and do that so this piece is 
three and three quarters wide by five and three quarters tall. So I just took a quarter of an inch off the center section. So the center measures four by six. So this is just a quarter of an inch smaller on both sides. It's five and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay. So we'll get some art glitter glue and we'll get that glued down. So we had so much fun on our cruise. We crafted for so many hours every day. We were up and eating breakfast on the top deck um, by, I think by eight o'clock every morning. And we ate at the buffet. And then we were in our rooms and crafting by nine o'clock. It was so much fun. And I'll tell you more about it as we go. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I went ahead and got that down in the center before I moved on because believe me, I did it once before <laughs> and got to matting and got to going and um, and did not have it done correctly. So I'm just gonna work the score lines all the way around and the way I like to do that is to start on the first score line next to uh, the cut edge and then pull it and you'll find that next score line, okay? I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna work my score lines. So if I do the first one and pull it toward me, it makes it a little easier. It's kind of hard to do on some of these because the score lines are so close to each other. Yeah, I did that one backwards. I should have did it the way I told you. There we go. And it is coming a storm and my puppy does not like it. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we will move on. So since we're not putting foam tape here, we have these gussets that we just made, one eighth of an inch tall all the way around. And so we are going to glue this together and we're going to make basically a very thin box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some art glitter glue where these corners meet and just in those four corners. And I'm just gonna make sure that I have a good seal and then I've got a good corner on my box, so to speak. So, take my art glitter glue. Okay, I'm gonna kinda of see where this matches up. I'm not gonna go over that little square here. All right, and I'm gonna come down. Doesn't matter which side goes over which, as long as you get a good seal and you kinda of make that box don't want those sequins to fall out. There we go, you can see that. And it does take a second for the glue to catch. I'm just gonna hold on to that. So as we, uh, what I was saying in the cruise, what we would do in the uh, mornings is we would craft from nine to 11 and some crafters would craft with us um, from 11 to one. And then we would start back again in the afternoons. And I think the teachers got to have a break between four and uh, whenever dinner would start and sometimes it will be five and sometimes it would be seven and um, one night the teacher would have to miss dinner or would go get an early dinner where they couldn't go to the dining room because they were teaching a night class and we taught classes at night from seven to eight thirty and eight thirty to ten so you can imagine how funny we got on that second night class. We were all tired, but having such a good time, and we had such good projects that were very varied. We did such different things. It was really a lot of fun. Okay, so I've got that glued down, so I have this little gusset all the way around without using foam tape. So now we will move on to make the shaker part. Okay, now's the fun part. We get to add our shakers in there. So what we'll do is I'll put some of my shaker bits in here and I'll add some of my die cuts in here too to swim around. So the ones that we put in there was a piece of seaweed, even though I kept calling it a fern <laughs> on the ship. And I had an extra fish. And a whale, I think we put the sweet in there. So some people were gluing down some of these and some were leaving them just the way they were. So I think I'm just gonna leave them to move around like they are. And then we're going to glue the piece that we just made of the frame right on top. So 
just like that. We're just going to glue that right down there. So, I'm going to start it clean already. You could use a dryer sheet if you want to. But I'm going to put a generous amount of art glitter glue to make sure this is going to be very good and sealed up. Not a little too much there. Clean that up a little bit. Okay. And then since we already have our pretty frame here, I'm going to put it down just like so. And try to get it lined up around the edges and push it down and give that art glitter glue a little bit of time to do its job. Give that just a second to dry. Okay, we got that. Looks like it's pretty good and dry. So cute, so cute. Love a good shaker. So the next step, what we did is we had die cuts and we layered them on top. And then on the back, we made a pocket with a flap. So, here are the measurements you will need for that. Like this. So for your pocket, your piece of paper is three and a half by five. On the five inch side, I scored it on a half of an inch on both sides. And on the short side, the three and a half inch side, I scored it one time at a half of an inch. So you have three score lines three and a half by five, and then on three of those sides, you go in a half of an inch. Then I went ahead and mitered it. So I did this on the Cricut so that everyone did not have to do that step, but then it's just mitered, which means it's cut right where those score lines meet, okay? So the top flap is a four by four and a quarter, and this is your four and a quarter side. I scored it one time at a half of an inch to make it a flap. And then I came down at the bottom and it already has uh, the corner rounding done for you. Okay, so that was what was in the kit and those are the measurements so that you can do this at home. So I'm just going to bend the top here. It's gonna go at the top. I'm just gonna make sure I have my orientation correct. Okay, because I want this to be at the top. And glue that down, some art glitter glue, and you can find this great art glitter glue and most of the uh, products that I am using at MayMayMadeIt.com. That is her store, if you did not know, and that is who we went with on the cruise. We had such a great time. So now this piece of paper has already got your score marks for your pocket, so you're just going to fold on those three sides. Right, and that's going to become your back of your pocket here. All right. And so you're just going to glue that down to the bottom so then the flap will come over this. So if you don't like the messy glue, you can always use a sticky tape, a two-sided tape. So I'm just going to get this down centered as best I can. And see the flap's going to come down like so and now you basically have it constructed you just need to put on your pattern paper so let's do that okay we're going to put their die cuts here and let's see here's our pieces of paper that we decided to use Here's the four sheets of paper. We use fishes and this uh, purple shell, and then we have this blue water, and then I've got some seahorses. These three are five and a quarter tall, and the little fishes are two and three quarters tall. Now everything was cut at three and three quarters wide, so they're all the same width. One of them's a little bit shorter, if that makes sense. So they're all three and three quarters wide. This one's two and three quarters tall. 
And these three are three and a half tall. Okay. So now here we go. So much fun. All right. So if I start from the inside, the smaller one that we have is going to go right here on the outside of the pocket. So it's going to go on the bottom. And it's going to cover up the pocket here. And then the next one, which makes sense to go with fishes, is going to be water. So we're going to put the water. And we have this cut so that it goes down into the pocket just a little bit and then gives you about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay. And if you want to make sure that your water's going in the right direction, if that bothers you. This to me, not so much worried about it. I just like to have my seahorses and my fish where they don't look like they're upside down. But I think the waves will probably go either way. Okay, and then I'm going to put seahorses on one side and the purple on the other. So as you can see, this one's already been corner rounded and it's gonna go on the front. But on the top of the water, I'm gonna put these seahorses. So I need to make sure I've got my orientation correct. And so it's gonna be the top is what's gonna get corner rounded. So I'm gonna use my, uh, we are memory keepers, crop a doll. This is the corner chomper. And I'm gonna use it on the biggest setting, the one half of an inch. I'm gonna do the two top corners. Okay, so it goes like that, very cute. Move over a little bit here. So there we go. Love. Then I'm going to do this purple, which I had already corner rounded earlier. Make sure I knew which size I was going to use. And I'm putting that on the front of the flap, just like so. put our die cuts on. So before I forget, I want to make sure I get my, um, my Velcro on. And the way I like to do this is I wanted it to be on the back of this fish. So I glued the fish, the top of it down onto this flat, kind of in the center as best you can. So then on the back of that, we would put our Velcro dot. So I'm just going to take one side of that sticky dot, or the, sticky, or the liner off the sticky dot, and I'm going to place it down right in the center here of that little fish die cut circle. And then I'm going to take the other side of this liner off, ever so carefully, leaving that Velcro together. And then I'm going to close it so that it goes right in the right place of where I want it to stick down. Okay. All right, so now I've got my Velcro dot here and here, and it's right in the right spot. Okay, so all there is left to do is do some embellishing. So if you would like to win this one kit that I have left over, it's got all the pieces already cut out for you just like you saw here the die cuts and everything and it even comes with a color picture how to make it if you would like to reference that oh and it even comes with a tag that you can put in here the tag you'll want to cut it down to five and a quarter tall so it's a little too long to fit in here so I just cut it down a little bit and then you can have a tag to put in here to sign or if you didn't want to put a, um, a gift card in there have it but I digress. What you need to do in order to win this kit for this project, this is it completed, is you've already found me on YouTube, so you must be a subscriber on YouTube and go over to my Facebook group and leave a comment. You're going to see this project picture on Facebook and you're just going to comment that you would like to win the kit. Just answer the question, me or yes, or over here, or something like that. And so here is my new logo that I've just had made up. So look for that, have photos, little scrapbook. 
and you'll find me at that same name on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So be a subscriber on uh, YouTube and go over to Facebook and comment under this post that you would like to win this and you may actually win it. And so I'm going to send um, through Facebook Messenger to the person who I randomly pick um, a message that you have won and it'll be one week from today. Thank you guys for watching this video and come back next Friday and you'll see the other project that we had that we did that I taught on the cruise and that you can actually win that kit also. Thanks guys. Bye.